Hey guys, what's up? So let's review a gaming laptop slash video editing. And uh, today's laptop is going to be the Asus G750JW. Now, first, let's start off with the size. And it is going to be a pretty decently sized laptop. It is not by any means small. Coming in at 17.3 inches length, 12.5 inches in width. And it comes in weighing at almost 11 pounds. But there's a good reason for it. So don't judge it just yet. Now let's discuss the in and out ports. So first we have, a, of course, your headphone jack, a microphone jack, two USB 3.0s, a mini display, an HDMI, your Ethernet, and of course, last but not least, your VGA. So a pretty good amount of support with those ports. And on the other side, we have two more USB 3.0s for a total of four, your DVD drive, and a 3-in-1 card reader. And it supports SD, MMC, and MS. So pretty good you know again pretty good amount of port support now let's go to the back in the back we have two giant vents that look almost like a spaceship so you know pretty cool there and uh what this is gonna do it's gonna make sure that your computer runs nice cool and quiet so they're not pointing towards you you know the keyboard is not gonna get hot anything like that and it's also gonna improve the performance of the gpu because the cooler it stays the better the gpu performs so you know definitely a plus now, as far as the keyboard, it has a backlit keyboard, which is very, very handy when it comes down to, you know, late projects at night or gaming at night, you know, whatever it is. So that's definitely a plus, which believe it or not, guys, it's pretty darn damn handy. But, you know, so enough about the keyboard. Now let's talk more about the screen. Well, the screen size is going to be a nice 17.3 inches, you know, wide. So, you know, not bad at all. Now with the screen of that size, you're going to need a good resolution. So it comes in with 1920 by 1080 so a high resolution and definitely a good uh, place to uh, max out your games at now one thing that I dislike about it is going to be the three and a half hours of battery life which is pretty saddening it's uh, I mean not only that also your performance gets uh, gets a hit so and this is all mostly just surfing the web you know so you can't really actually edit you can't play games at all it's and if you did, it's going to last you less than three and a half hours. So that's definitely, you know, not something that I like about it. And it's a pretty big size of a, of a battery. It's a lithium-8. So. But anyways, let's talk more about the specs. So it comes with a one terabyte hard drive, 54 RPM, which could definitely be seen as a, as a bottleneck. 12 gigabytes of DDR3, Windows 8, and Bluetooth 4.0. So, you know, pretty good there. Now let's talk about the processor. The processor is going to be an i7-47HQ with the regular clock speed of 2.4 gigahertz and a turbo speed of up to 3.4. So definitely good. So this will not bottleneck your games at all. Now it also comes uh, hyper-threaded, so it's definitely good if you're gonna be doing some video editing. So this is not only just for gaming, but also perfect for video editing. And overall, it is just a very, very solid CPU. But now let's talk about the GPU. So it's going to have an NVIDIA GTX 765M and it is not the third fastest single GPU. I don't know what I was thinking. Completely ignore that fact. And But this is going to be your standard entry GPU for around $1,000. So every other laptop will have the same uh, card. And this card can run almost every single new game at medium settings. And it also supports physics, which is a nice little feature. Now, if you want to lower the resolution, say you go down to 720, then you could probably do, you know, ultra, oh, not necessarily ultra, but, you know high settings so it's not necessarily the best card but it's pretty good you know for for a mobile laptop now check this out this is going to be uh, adobe after effects and uh, i'm going to be rendering a video at a full 1080p full resolution and as you can see you know sure it's it's not that fast i mean it's not the fastest but it's definitely you know good for a laptop really really good uh, i changed it up to uh, third resolution now you know uh, a third of it so it's a lot quicker it's faster i mean but it's definitely like i said it's good uh you cannot get a better processor you know for editing you could but it's not going to be that much of a difference now this is going to be element 3d so for element 3d you actually need a good graphics card so this nvidia gtx 765 does a great job with it and uh you can of course you know uh move this around in your video it's rendered full 3d real time so you can spin it, you can do whatever. So, you know, put in the CPU and the GPU together and you can create some pretty crazy stuff if you, uh, I mean, if you imagine it. So I did create some pretty amateurish uh, things, but I mean, it just kind of shows you the potential that you guys can, you know, if you guys know how to do this then you can make a much better video. 
And that, as you can see, says Juan, so you cannot get any cooler than that. And then I took the soda can and just put it on the side. And it doesn't look too convincing, but, you know, I mean, okay, you, you get an idea of what you can do with it, you know. And uh, this is a list of mods that I have on Skyrim, you know, so I have a pretty handful, you know, list of mods. And, uh, and I'm trying to run the game at almost max settings. The only thing that I did not max out was going to be the shadow detail. So it's, it's going to be at medium. So, but I mean, everything else it's on, it's, and, and I'm showing you guys, and this is, I'm going to run this on the laptop so you guys can see, you know, how well it does it. So, and it's going to run it at a very playable, uh, frame rate. You know, it doesn't seem like it drops no more than 24 frames per second. I honestly, it's uh, it looks great, you know, and on the go and for a laptop, this is really, really, really good. I used to play Skyrim on the PS3 and the PS3 has no freaking, you know, it just doesn't stand a chance if I were to compare it. And I may compare in the future. So if you guys want to see that, you know, let me know and I'll compare it for you. But uh, I mean, you know, it definitely looks great. Frame rate is perfect. I have a good amount of mods in it and it still runs, you know, good. So, but yeah, so I mean, it's so good in fact that it makes me want to shoot people in the butt. So yeah. But anyways, jokes aside, well, let me tell you what I liked about the laptop. I love the fact that it's a very, very powerful laptop, you know, um, good power on the go. It's got a beautiful F22 jet design. So, you know, definitely cool. Runs cool and quiet. And that backlit keyboard, that is just so handy, you know, when doing late night projects. Now, I just like the fact that the hard drive is only 54 RPM, really, really slow. The battery life is only three and a half hours. So that's also kind of sad. And of course, it is also a finger magnet. So it is still a good laptop, especially for editing. You know, if you want to do some gaming, you can do that too. But for editing, this is definitely good, especially for the price for 1300 bucks uh, on the go. You cannot beat this laptop as far as the price. You know, it's going to stay nice and cool and uh, give you, you know, give you your money's worth. I mean, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe, like my video, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.